Hello, and welcome. Today's missive comes from Martha in Carson City, Nevada. Hello, Martha. Martha writes, Dear Hatter and Hare, I'm struggling with a family problem. My sister has three children, all of whom I love very much. But my youngest niece is an absolute horror when we go out in public. She constantly has loud, lengthy temper tantrums at the store, at restaurants, everywhere. And it makes me so uncomfortable that I find myself avoiding my sister and her children. How do I cope with this troubled child? That's a great question, Martha. Is it? How does one deal with troubled children? So I says to the guy, take it back to the pet store, right? And tell him it was broke like that when you bought it. Say what now? Tell him it was broken like that when you bought it. What was broken? The puppy. The puppy was broken. My sweet little pumpkin-faced angel, would you please, please lower the volume? Mummy and Daddy are trying to plan your next birthday party. We're trying to decide whether to get two ponies or three, and what colours we should paint them. Oh, we could paint them all the colours of the rainbow, and scent them with candy flower, just so our little sweet potato can have the most perfect princess party the kingdom's ever seen. But we need for you to be a good little kitty cat now, and please stop screaming, darling face. Which one of us is the mum? So you see, Martha, it is possible to quell the fury of a misbehaving child. You may not be able to reason with them, or bribe them, or beat them at their own game. But nothing silences a little darling like the existential horror of staring into the void for the first time, and realizing how terribly insignificant their lives truly are. Well, that's all the time we have for today. You're welcome, Martha. Remember, keep sending those letters. After all, we live to serve. <laughs>